One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Welcome to another edition of Life and Style by Kevin Samuels. This is a viewer request. Uh, today, I'm gonna ask you to do the same things. If you like what I'm doing, what are you gonna do? You're gonna click that subscribe button at the bottom of the, on the YouTube channel. Doesn't cost you a dime, helps me make pennies. Also, you're gonna forward this out to your friends. Ladies, this is for you. I've had a woman, uh, several women ask me, I loved your review on Black Orchid, men too. And if you know, I'm, an, if you've been watching any length of time, you know, I'm a massive Tom Ford fan. So this one was a no brainer to me. Today's review is going to be on Velvet Orchid. Now, Velvet Orchid and Black Orchid share the same base note, Orchid. But they're very different fragrances. And I'm going to have to read the notes in Velvet Orchid because they're so expansive. So bear with me for a little bit because I'm going to veer off and look and read the notes. Okay, so in the top notes, we have Italian bergamot, mandarin. We have some rum absolute honey. In the middle, we have a massive middle. We've got jasmine, Turkish rose. We've got orchid, black orchid, orange blossom, Moroccan rose, magnolia, up oh, and hyacinth. And then in the base we have sandalwood, myrrh, sweet, I mean, sweet suede, vanilla, and laudanum. So what does all that really mean? First off, that's a lot of notes. That's a lot of notes. What it really gives us is a more sweet, floral, honey, um, powdery, vanilla fragrance. What black orchid is to sexy, sedultery, you know, just smoky, animalic, just make you want to go on somebody. Velvet Orchid is the opposite of that. This is the one that is female. Very few men are going to be able to be, be comfortable pulling this off. If you are a guy who likes florals, you can try this one because the honey in it and the vanilla in it make it lean, feminine. But if you can play in that range, go for it. Especially if you're a guy who likes white florals like tuberose and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, ladies, this is one I think is going to be more tailored for you. It is day appropriate, uh, evening, day, night appropriate, evening, special occasion. It works all the way around. Best part about it is it's non-offensive. It does not give off that black orchid punch. Black orchid is one of those that attracts a lot of attention, but it gets a lot of love, hate too. And you gotta be really careful on that trigger. On the velvet orchid, you can wear it uh, spring, summer, winter, fall, not really care what time of day or night it is. You just gotta just manage the trigger. That's all you really have to do. This is something I consider that could be a staple in most women's wardrobe. It can be that sexy, sedultery, gourmand, meaning gourmet, make you wanna think of food, uh, kind of fragrance that you could put in and then put in a light citrus kind of fragrance also. So again, Velvet Orchid takes the best parts of Black Orchid, tones them down a little bit, and make them more mainstream. But it, but it does nothing to change the character. As far as longevity, longevity is still great. We're talking a good seven to eight hours longevity. Projection, good projection. You know, a good three or four feet out from you. Sillage, good sillage. You walk by, you're gonna get that Doppler effect. So look, if you like Black Orchid, but it seems like it's just too highbrow and too special of an occasion and you want something that's just more everyday, Velvet Orchid is the fragrance for you. Tom Ford Velvet Orchid, you can't go wrong. Get out to your local Sephora, smell it, try it, love it, buy it. Hit me up in the comments section, let me know what you think. Until the next time, I'll talk to you later.